Hello everyone, Amod here from your target com YouTube channel and this video will be addition to 100 problems of lead code. In this video, we are going to solve merge strings alternatively problem of lead code. This problem says that you are given two strings, word 1 and word 2. Merge the strings by adding letters in alternating order starting with word 1. So if you see the example here, it says that we have two words. ABC and PQR, we need to merge their letters in alternate order means pick the first character of word 1 and then append with the first character of word 2 that will be P. So the first part will be A and P. Then pick the second character of word 1 and second character of word 2. So it will be like B and then Q. So second part will be BQ. Then the third one C and R. So like this we need to append. What is the second condition here? If a string is longer than the other, append the additional letters onto the end of the merge string. Here we can see the length of both the words are same. But it is possible that you might have strings with different length. Here you can see the length of word 1 is only 2 but the length of word 2 is 4. So if you try to merge, so you can merge only first two characters like A, B and P, Q. So the output will be A, P and B, Q. But in the word 2, we have two remaining characters will be which, be, which are R and S. So these R and S will go to the last of the result string. Similarly, in the example 3, here word 1 has four letters, but word 2 has only two letters. So first two letters we can easily merge alternatively. So the output will be AP and BQ. But in word one, we have two letters remaining. So these two letters will go end of the merge string. So the final output will be AP, BQ, CD. Now let's think of the logic. In any condition, we are going to have three scenarios. First scenario will be when the length of word 1 and word 2 are same. Second scenario will be the length of word 1 is greater than word 2 and the third will be length of word 2 is greater than word 1. Now if you take the example of each scenario. So let me put the words and for the second it will be like A, B, C, D then P, Q. For the third one it may be A, B then P, Q, R, S. So in all three scenarios, one thing we can understand, we can find a minimum length in which we can simply iterate and merge the characters. Here we can iterate till three because both the length are same. But here the length of first character is four and for the second we have two. So we can say that at least two characters, we can merge it easily from both the words. If you simply increase the length, maybe A, B, C and P, Q, R, S. So here I can say that at least still three characters, we can easily merge from both the words. So here it will be three, here it will be two and here it will be three. So in short, the logical way, we need to find the string with the minimum length because that minimum length will be the index till where we can easily iterate and merge the letters alternatively. So the first step will be we need to find the minimum length. Now we need to handle scenarios where the length of both the words are not same. In that case, we can simply check if the length of the word is greater than my minimum length, then we need to get the substring and append to the result. Okay. So now Let's jump to IntelliJ and write the program. So here I have already created one static method where I will merge the strings alternatively. So I am going to use a string builder. So let me create an object of a string builder. So to find the minimum length, we need to get the length of each word and then we need to find which is minimum. So for that we can use the a method from math class and we have math.min pass the length of both the words. So words one dot length then word two dot length and I will store this in a variable called minimum length. Now we can easily trade both the words till this minimum length. So let me use the for loop int i equal to zero i less than minimum length then i plus plus. So I simply need to do append result dot append and here I can use word one dot char at of i then i can immediately call the character from the word 2 as well so word 2 dot 
caret i so till here it will work perfectly fine when the length of both the words are same but we need to handle the scenarios where length are not same so here we can have the conditions like you can have put the if condition if length of two word is greater than your minimum length then simply append the remaining string into the result so word 1 dot length is greater than minimum length so simply i am checking if the string has more letters then i can use result dot append so here need to understand one thing suppose we have the word as a b c d and p q so a b and p q will be merged remaining we will have only c d so index will be like 0 1 2 and 3 and minimum length value will we will have as 2 so since 0 and 1 are already extracted so we need to start from 2 right which will be like minimum length so here i can simply pass the minimum length and i need to go till last so i'm mixing the word 1 dot sub string and it will take the begin index so begin index will be my minimum length and end index you can pass the length but by default sub string if you don't mention the end index then by default it will take the length so here you can omit this part similarly the same if condition we can write it for word two as well but in any condition only one if condition will be true so instead of word one i need to use the word two after that what i need to do i need to convert the string builder to string and return it so simply i need to call result dot to string method now let me run the program i have already stored some inputs and expected output so here you can match ap bq cr ap bq rs ap bq cd cadf and for here i don't have any letters then the output will be a which i can see here and for the last one the output should be b but before i go and show you in debug mode i want to show you something here we have written these two if conditions but before that let me show you one example let me comment these inputs and sys out suppose i have a string called amod and i want to get the sub string from 0 to 2 so we know that what will be output it will be a and m because the last index or end index will be excluded so let me run and simply show you if i pass 0 and 4 then what do you think what will the output will it get index out of bound because we can have only 0 1 2 and 3 so let me run and show you so you can see that here we are getting the full string but we are not getting the index out of bound except similarly if what i do i will not pass end index so here what output i should get let me run and show you here i am getting the empty sub string here but if you increase from 4 to 5 then you will start getting the index out of bound exception so till the length so you, we can pass till the length here so same logic we can use it here as well instead of putting the if condition and all let me comment and simply copy this one and paste it here and i can again call the append method for the word 2 since we are not going to get index out of bound exception we can append the remaining string without in if condition so if i run the program it will give me the same output so here you can see we are getting the same output now let me run this program in debug mode so for the first input we have word 1 and word 2 as a b c and p q r so minimum length will be the length of word 1 is 3 the length of word 2 is 3 so the minimum will be obviously 3 so if i do the step over then you can see the minimum length as 3 so we can simply iterate it till 3 and we can get the result string so let me quickly run it you can see that in result we have ap then it will go and append again two letters bq and cr now here if you see word one dot sub string let me evaluate this statement you can see here it is returning empty string we don't have anything here but it is not giving you the index out of bound exception simply let me step over So for the second input data, we have word one as a b and word two as p q r s. So what will the minimum length? It should be two. So if I step over, I should see minimum length as two here. Now we can simply iterate till two characters. So you can see for loop has been executed twice. So output is a p and b q. So here, if I evaluate this expression, then I will get as empty string because we don't have any left over character in word one. But if I change to word two. then i will get my two remaining letters rs and this will be appended 
to my result let me do step over and you can see the result is apbqrs so that's all in this video if you any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone